What's up guys, it's Bob the Card Collector and welcome back to another video. We have another big boy box coming to the channel. This time, one of my favorites. It is Noir, first off the line. I was able to get this at Panini's Dutch auction around 2,500 euros or dollars, sorry. And uh, just before it closed off, so I, I got it at the, one of the lowest prices possible, which is always great not always able to do that and yeah this is actually an interesting box um the cha channel started with noir so uh, back in november 1st i started this channel with a box of noir i'll lift it a little bit that was the box right there the luca noir box that was my first box on the channel and we have come full circle another noir box almost a year later we'll do a special um video when we hit that one year on youtube i have some ideas but let me know what you want to see or hear uh when we get there so drop that in the comments so noir let's open it up this is the first of the line box and this comes with one extra card and i think it's numbered out of seven it can be a gold plated it can be a sneaker spotlight which is definitely definitely what you want to see so uh yeah big 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 cards available but also big big risk of course again don't try this at home my normal disclaimer this is a crazy box i am gonna lose money 99 percent of the time so just make sure if you're ever trying to do these boxes you know what you're doing first off the line war it is a beautiful set so even if we don't hit the cards that we really want there are going to be some beautiful cards here is kind of the the set on the back let's look at that Again, you want to get the sneaker spotlights. Those are just crazy. You'll see them here. I've seen some boxes that have two, one FOTL version and one regular version. There are also speaker spotlights without the autograph. So without further ado, oh yeah, one, one last thing and then I'm going to open in the box. So actually my best card from last year in the war was this Jadison Tatum card, Showtime on card signature, eight out of 25. I am going to trade this for a different card alongside my jason williams that i pulled from impeccable uh just a couple of weeks ago i'll highlight on the channel which big card i'm gonna trade it for because i'm super excited for that trade but for now let's get into it and if you are new to the channel think about subscribing please hit that like button for these crazy boxes because it is a lot of money so having those views having those likes is much appreciated and again i'm doing this for my own money here is the box so it comes in these nice little packages. Let's try to make sure that we're not spoiling it and go card by card. So let's see how we're going to do that. Let's do it maybe like this. And then I'm not looking. And then get all the cards out. Yeah, there we go. Am I not looking? You guys are seeing something. And then put it on the bottom. Okay, then put it on the bottom and then put a little, this, a little bit towards the back. And we're just going to go card by card. I think there's... 11 cards or 10 cards. I'm not, I forgot if the FOTL replaces the card or is an addition, but we'll figure that out in a minute. So Noir guys, crazy, crazy rip, but one of the most beautiful ones. We're gonna start off probably with the base card. So let's go there. Let's go there. Here we go. What is the first base card? We have a James Harden for the Clipper, 67 out of 99. So I pulled a massive James Harden card out of Impeccable. And he's showing up again. So beautiful cars, very premium. The corners can get a little busted. As you see right there, that is already a little busted. But that's that's what you get with these cars. So that's a little bit unfortunate, difficult to grade, but beautiful cars. So first, <clears throat> now I'm going to sleep after because I am too nervous to do that on screen while you guys are watching and I will mess up. So second base card, I'm not trying to look. What do we have? Okay, Alpert Shangun. 73 out of 99 so no lumber no low numbered base cards i think you actually want to have that because then maybe we get a bigger card at the end of the box what i do love about this card is the logo right here you can see like maybe if you get uh that is looking very cool i love that design so big fan of the design this year let's go third card also supposed to be base and then we go to the mems and autographs what is this? Okay, Jordan Poole out of 49, a little better. But I'm hoping that sets us up for the rest of the opening. Hopefully, hopefully these, these not so great base cards give us 
good luck. So here we go. Okay, I think this is might be the first mem or auto. Let's just go for it. I really want to pull a sneaker spotlight. That would be amazing, but those are hard to pull. I'm not trying to look. All right, we have our first mem card, casting call, memorabilia, number one out of 99 from Trace Jackson Davis for the Warriors. Beautiful, beautiful cards, right? The really the movie team is coming through. This is non-associated. No, so it's just a, a random patch, but. Davis is a, a good good player. Definitely had a nice stretch at the end. But I'm happy. Maybe the bigger cards. You know, he's not, he's not a top rookie, so who knows? And then we have an Anthony Black out of 25 elegant decor. Also kind of with a similar blue patch. So that's okay. Love the gold lining right there. Elegant decor. Definitely elegant. Two out of 25. That gets a little bit better. So we should get our autos here, right? So we have five cards, probably. So I think the, the FOTL is on the bottom. So again, look at that. That is awesome. Just hit a like button. That is such a good looking card. And Anthony Black, I think he started off the season really good, but then got to the bench at the end. Um, so hopefully we see him in his second year. Not looking, not looking. So maybe our first auto. Not our first auto, but we get a Shea 70 out of 99 box office memorabilia. And that should be game-worn used material. So that is pretty cool. That makes it a little bit more exciting that the rest of the box might get a little worse. Because Shea is definitely one of the players. So game-worn Shea, let's go. Shout out to Q's Cars because he collects Shea. Or at least Shea is his favorite player from what I remember. So... Might want to trade this with him. So Shea Gilgis Alexander, SGA on the game worn box office memorabilia. Here we go. Okay, we have a redemption. Um, let's let's do something. Let's let's get Luca here. Redemption. Is this good? Is this yeah, okay. We have a redemption right here. I haven't seen it. Okay. Big players can be in redemption. I'm not sure if Luca's signing. Getting a Luca card would be amazing. So basketball. Good set. Snapshot signatures. Card number 19. Ooh, 19 is relatively high. Onyeka Onkongu on the snapshot signatures. And if you look at my face, that's not a happy face. All right, Onyeka Onkongu, first autograph, snapshot signatures. All right, you know, my theory of not having the best cards in the box still holds up. So how many cards do we have right now? So we have three here three there so seven right seven yeah so we have three cards left and maybe one extra for the the uh, FOTL okay reigning knights of Jason Terry on card number oh, three out of 99 I thought it was 31 for some reason but that is PC if I have one there we go Jason Terry look at that that is just sick Wow, I'm very happy. Is that dirt or just? Oh my God, that's like dirt on there. Oh my God. So maybe he was signing <laughs> with dirty hands. That's a little bit unfortunate. I'll have to clean that up. But very cool on card. I don't have any on card Jason Terry card. So that is definitely the favorite card so far. Let's put that off to the side with the Shea in a separate stack. Well, it doesn't matter. We just put everything there. Um, okay, okay. So. I think we have, yeah, we have three cards left. Okay, let's go. Let's get something big. We haven't had a monster yet. Ooh, okay, that might be a little bit of a monster. We have an on-card Kaysen Wallace rookie autographs, 54 out of 99. That is pretty sweet. Oh, but again, look at these corners. Oh, that's such a fortunate. I think that's just because they're shining on-card. You know, these cards just are moving around, getting hit by... Other cards, yeah, that is the only thing about Noir. Yeah, it's difficult to do when they're doing on card. So that is massive. So two nice on card autographs. Let's have the final one. And the Onkongu, yeah, that's not it. Um, but can we get even better than that? Can it get even better? I'm not looking. Ooh, a Noir spotlight. Oh, it's an autograph of Anthony Penny Hardaway. I didn't see it, but it's the gold. Ooh, that is really, really nice. 
I think in my previous video for deck, I actually revert to him. Very collectible. So that is a sick, sick, sick card. The gold autograph, signature spotlight of Everny Penny Hardaway. I am actually really happy with that one. That just has the oof. Look at that. That is in the war card if I have one. Wow, 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 wow. That is beautiful. So we do have one extra card, FOTL one. That can be massive. I think it's out of seven. Oh, man. Sneaker spotlight, please. Please. All right. All right. I'm not looking. You guys are going to see it at the same time as me. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Woo Sneaker spotlight. Yannis Atatakumpo. Five out of seven. Let's freaking go. Whoa, 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 whoa. And wow. God, these cards are busted. That is, it looks like the same. My God, that's, come on, Panini, man. Wow. So we got what we wanted. A Giannis Antetokounmpo sneaker spotlight. It doesn't have the autograph. So the FOTLs, I think, don't have the autograph version. You get the base, or not the base, the non-auto, but that is still sick. Five out of seven. Wow, I call that a W. That was a good box. And again, you know, we didn't get good base cards at the beginning. So um, let's do a short little recap. I think this was, I'm very happy with this box. Again, super, super expensive for sure. But, and I'll try to find if there's some comps of uh, these, the, the, the Giannis uh, sneaker spotlight that probably be only on card. I think this is the first time they do non auto sneaker spotlights so they might have um yeah i probably have to deduct the price but it's five out of seven right so out of seven yana sneaker spotlight so i'll highlight on screen a little bit of a comps what i think it's going to be i'm not sure um and then the case on wallace i'll try to do some comps but if not then you just have to go with it so let's go through it guys hit that like button for this massive box i am very happy so we rebounded after that terrible deca box so jordan pool on the base out of 49 then we have Alfred Shangun out of 99. That's actually pretty cool. James Harden. So my James Harden collection all of a sudden got bigger. Um, and then we had Trace Jackson Davis, 1 out of 99 um, on the casting call. Mem. This is a really beautiful card. Look at this. This is an excellent beautiful card. Um, elegant decor of Anthony Black, 2 out of 25. And actually really happy with this one too. Shea Game War Material. Definitely very cool. 70 out of 99. So don't have a Shea game worn. Then we did have a uh, redemption of a Congo, which is, you know, it is what it is. Then we have a very, very beautiful with some. Ugh, it's so unfortunate that, this, that these cards are dirty and busted up. I'm not sure, guys. Let me know. The, can we kind of, can I send this back to Panini? Should I send this back to Panini? I've kind of heard some other YouTubers do that, but. My, this might be just be clean it up, but um, yeah, let me know what you think if I should send that back. Jason Terry, three out of 99. Very, very cool PC. Then we got a beautiful, beautiful Case and Wallace, four, 54 out of 99. On card rookie autograph. He has a good, good upside to him with the Thunder. Hopefully, he starts next year. And then, then definitely two massive cards. On card with the gold filter, Anthony Penny Hardaway for the Magic Spotlight Signatures. And then we also have the Giannis uh, Sneaker Spotlight. <laughs> I lost my train of thought right there. So, wow, wow, wow. Two massive cards. So, this Noir box was worth it. Did I get my money back? Ooh, I don't know. I'm very curious what these kind of cards will go for. I've, I'll probably highlight it on screen uh, as I talk about these stuff. So, yeah, guys, leave a like button if you're new, thinking about subscribing. We have a lot more cool content coming. This was definitely a W for me. Maybe not we got the full work, but a W in how much fun this was opening. So Impeccable was all right. Deco was terrible. Spectra was good. Noir brought it back. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I should do with those busted up cards, if I should send them back. I really don't want to send them back, but, you know, if I can guarantee the card in a better state, I might want to. Um, and yeah, looking forward to uh, hearing from you guys. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10K before the end of the year. 
And uh, that's it. This is Bob the Card Collector. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.